Hey everybody, this is Andrew from Tia's for Tech. And today what I wanna do is a quick unboxing and initial first look at some Pataka cases for the iPhone 12 Pro Max. Now I've done some reviews and some unboxings of Pataka cases on the channel in the past. And these are specifically obviously for the iPhone 12 Pro Max, like I mentioned. And I have the Pataka Air case, which is one of the thinnest and lightest ones that uh, Pataka makes. So I have that. And then I have basically two different colors in the Pataka Mag Easy case. And so the Mag Easy case does have uh, basically metal plate built into it. So if you have either the Pataka um, mount for your car or you have another generic maybe magnet mount or something like that, uh, this case should work with those, right? So it has like two metal plates embedded in, in the case little bit spaced apart so it's supposed to still work with wireless charging but they do have uh, the metal plates kind of embedded in there. I don't know if you've known or you watch any of my other videos on the, the Pataka cases but they're made out of something called an aramid fiber which is basically like a uh, aerospace Kevlar is how I understand it. So super lightweight, super strong. Uh, both of these are supposed to weigh like 17 grams and this one, uh, the air case weighs 10 grams. So, I mean, that's really lightweight, right? So adds really nothing to the overall uh, weight of the phone. Gives you some protection um, from scratches and little bumps and bruises. Obviously is going to be um, not as protective if you drop it. So it's not, this is not a like military grade drop protection case where if you drop it from five feet in the air, it's going to magically protect your phone. Obviously, that isn't the case, but if you're looking for something that's slim and trim, uh, that protects the case from just normal wear and tear and scuffing it up and, and that sort of thing, definitely you might want to take a look at these. So what I'm going to do is just quickly here uh, unbox them, you know, give you a little look what they what they look like, and then put them on the phone, test the fitment, uh, test the fitment, and then that's basically it. So the one thing I do like about uh, the Pataka cases, I mean, they're a little bit expensive, I won't lie, but they're really nice. <laughs> and they're packaged really nice and all of that. So Pataka, alternate, uh, alternative tech life, a little bit of a magnet closure on this case, or the, the packaging, and then you have the case itself. So get a little material, mag easy case. How do you look at the warranty or uh, get VIP treatment, that, that sort of thing. So you have that. And then when you look at this, it is super thin. Hopefully that focuses. Now the thing with the air case is it does have some cutouts for around the different pieces of the phone. So kind of the volume rockers, the power button, uh, a little bit on the top, and then the bottom. So this one does not fully like wrap around the case it's, or wrap around the phone itself. So it does leave some portions of the phone exposed, uh, but it does overall you know do a, a job of protecting. So this is my iPhone 12 Pro Max in graphite, and you basically just kind of snap it in there. And I don't know if you can see this, um, the weave there looks really nice really cool has a little bit of a soft touch feel to it so it's not totally slippery so if you grab it on the side of the phone um, there is a little resistance because it has kind of, a, kind of a texture and a coating almost on it that gives it a little bit of a grippiness so that's nice so you got the Pataka logo kind of there at the bottom uh, you do get a band around the uh, you know the camera module so it does look like it's a little bit taller. Um, it extends just a tiny bit higher than the actual camera module itself. So if you do put this down, this should kind of protect that camera module from touching uh, you know, the, the table or whatever you put it on, as long as it's totally flat. You won't have any issue there, I don't think. It looks like it would uh, you know, kind of keep that from Keep those lens elements from hitting whatever you're putting this down on. But obviously it's going to make it rock, right? So if you put it flat down, 
you know, it's gonna it's gonna rock a little bit uh, because of that. As you can see on this side, you know, there's a little bit of a cutout there for the power button. And the same thing on the other side, cutouts for, and that's all fingerprints, but uh, cutouts are volume up down and, and the, uh, the ring silent thing. At the top, you can see top of the phone, stainless steel there. And then at the bottom, you also have um, cutouts around the lightning connector and the speakers. Yeah, that's about it. So uh, pretty easy to snap on. Does not really give you much from a, a face down protection perspective on the glass because it basically just barely clips over the front edge. But I do have a tempered glass screen protector on this, so I'm not really necessarily worried about scratches in that case. Um, but that's something to kind of keep in consideration if you're if you don't have a screen protector and you have this case, it's not going to give you a ton of face down protection because uh, it might be touching the glass. But again, uh, I mean, I think the general thought here, super lightweight, uh, kind of minimal protection, give you a little bit of grip, you know, without adding a ton of bulk. You know, it's maybe better than carrying the phone with no case or with only like something like a D brand skin, um, but it's not going to offer you like a ton of drop protection. So that's the Air case. So the next case we'll look at is the Mag Easy case in black. So same sort of thing, same packaging. And actually, it looks exactly the same. So this has the same uh, cutouts and it has the same, basically the same setup as the other one, except this does have the the magnets built in. So, yeah, basically the same thing. Take a look there. Back is the same, same logos, all the cutouts, everything is the same. The only, only difference is, is that the back of the case is just a tiny bit thicker because they do have the embedded magnet mounts in here. Now this says compatible with the Pataka magnet mount. Now I have used this, um, you know, this line of cases before with a magnetic mount in my car uh, from some earlier phones that I've had, and I didn't have the Pataka, uh, you know, magnetic mount, and it worked fine. So I'm assuming it's probably optimized for their uh, for their mount, just based on the spacing of of the the plates, but. Um, I don't necessarily think you have to have their mount, at least in the past. Like I said, I've used a different mount and it worked fine. So this is the black. And then this is the same thing, which has a little bit of this like blue color. So bluish black. Hope you can tell the difference here. So black, bluish black. And by bluish black, I just mean, you know, it's bluish black. So it does look kind of cool. I do like this actually. Um, this one might look really nice with the iPhone in the blue color that Apple has. So that, that might actually look really cool with that. But again, you know, same thing. Snaps on the phone. Gives you kind of a stylish look. And same setup as the other one. I'm going to, I don't have a charger right here, but I'm going to go quickly test this on my charger and make sure that it does charge. So I did put this on a wireless charger and it does, does work. Um, I don't have yet the, uh, the mag mag charger or the MagSafe charger from Apple. I'm still waiting on that. Um, I don't know how this would work with the MagSafe charger uh, because it has these plates in there. I don't know if that messes up anything or not. So I'll have to maybe put in the comments uh, of this video once I get the MagSafe charger to see what happens with this. Because obviously MagSafe, there's some magnets built into the phone. I don't know if those metal plates are gonna mess that up or not. So I will have to test that. And you know, I'll probably 
I don't know when I'll get the charger. That's the only problem. So this video will probably be posted before I do get the charger and able to test it. But I will update the uh, video description in the future or I'll add a comment there, uh, letting you know what I found out about that. So when I do get the MagSafe charger, I'll double check to see if it works with these cases with the, uh, the, the, uh, the metal plates in there. Obviously, it should work fine with the, um, the other one, which is, doesn't, have the, doesn't have the plates. So again, overall, definitely something cool to, to take a look at. If you're kind of in this place where you want something more than just a skin, but you don't want to add a ton of bulk to your phone, something like this I definitely think is worth taking a look at. Again, uh, it's Pataka. It's ipataka.com. It's their website. Um, you can find these on Amazon. I'll link to all that in the description. If, you, if this was at all helpful, please do give this video a thumbs up. Uh, even if you don't subscribe to the channel, give it a thumbs up because that does help the YouTube algorithm know that I'm providing decent content that people will appreciate and helps me spread the news on YouTube, gain subscribers, gain views, all of that. And only can I do that and continue this, right? If, <laughs> if I don't get any engagement, likes, sub subscriptions, uh, you know, the channel's not going to do as well, right? So please do that. Do appreciate it. This is Andrew from TS for Tech. Thanks for watching. And I'll see you next time. Talk to me.